Hey, welcome to another tutorial on Zoosign APIs. This video will give you a brief walkthrough on Zoosign's document APIs using the Postman tool. If you are new to this tutorial series, we recommend you to check out our previous video that will help you get started by registering a client and setting up authorization tokens to use Zoosign's REST APIs. You can access this by clicking on the top right of this video or find its link in the description below. Okay, now let's begin with the simple task of creating and sending a document signature request using Zoosign REST APIs. This involves creating the document with recipient details, adding fields, and sending the document for signature. Here, as you can see, our create document API endpoint can be used to create the document signature request. You will need to pass the authorization in the format as shown, followed by the required file uploaded using the file pickup window and the required data. You can refer to our API documentation from the link at the top of this video or the description below for the required JSON format. The file that is uploaded needs to have pre-configured signature placeholders or text tags as we call them. Using text tags for automatic field addition has been covered in a separate video which you can also find at the top of this video or the description below. Now you can make the API call. You should see the success code 200 in the response you receive which tells you that you are on the right track. The response will also provide you the request ID which is a unique identifier that points to a specific request. You need to use this along with the submit API endpoint to send these documents for signature. Let's see how that's done. There you go. With the success response for the submit call you just made, you can rest assured that the document has been sent. This can also be tracked directly from the Zoosign dashboard under the Documents tab as you can see here. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Keep watching this space to learn more about our APIs. If you have any queries or in need of any assistance, feel free to drop a mail to support at Thanks for watching.